Well, James, you must be pretty proud of your side's efforts, uh, given you were without Ollie Robinson for pretty much all the day, really. We were, and you know, to watch Ollie walk off, we, you know, obviously knew with the food poisoning that he had that, you know, it was something we thought we could get him through the game, but obviously not. And then watch him wander off one over. Um, you, you know, as a bowling unit, you need to stand up and to watch um, Henry and Aaron and and Sean run in like they did. Um, I thought was excellent. The responsibility that they took, uh, the maturity that they showed, was fantastic. And to to they got off to a bit of a start, and we, we wrestled back control. Then we started to contain them, supported by Tom Haynes and obviously the, the the two young spinners. So, you know, delighted for them. But it's it's another sign of progress for this young bowling attack, and it's important that we recognise that we are progressing. It's very easy to, you know, we've had quite a lot of knocks recently, but it's performances like that that show the the potential of these guys and actually delivering in an environment where we really needed them to stand up. Because the pitch was pretty good, or it looked pretty good from where we were sitting. It wasn't doing too much, so it was maybe a little bit, but we had to work hard and keep keep things tight. It did, they did, and, you know, you know, you, you know it's a good pitch when, you know, if you win the toss and, and, and you bat. So, you know, Leicester obviously know this surface better than we did, and they think they, you know, they get best use of it. So, you know, we knew it was a good pitch. It looks a good pitch. Um, it looks pretty dry. Um, and as I say, I thought, you know, they bowled aggressively when they needed to bowl aggressively, and they bowled with, um, they were smart when they needed to be smart, and that's really all you can ask for, uh, of a bowling group like that. I was going to say it's always the right time to take wickets, but you did take wickets at the right time. They didn't really, Leicester weren't able to put together any real partnerships until arguably the, the sort of ninth wicket, really. Yeah, that looked like I think their strongest partnership probably. But you know, it, it's you know sometimes you know wickets come in clusters. Sometimes they come at the right time. But you know, a few of the bowl, these bowlers have been a bit unlucky in recent times. So to to see catches go to hand, uh, I thought we caught really well, um, which you know. You know, fantastic effort by Archie Lennon in the corner there. We caught well at slip. You know, those things are all massively important and contribute to um, what, you know, despite the last ball of the day, you know, what we, we should walk off this pitch pretty happy uh, after Every day one. Was taken, wasn't it? Yeah. Every single catch. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, good for, yeah, good day for us. And, and, and the skipper and Tom at the end were positive. They could easily have just sort of gone into their shells, couldn't they, and looked to play for the close, but they, they picked up some useful runs, and as you say, yeah. unfortunate just to lose Tom. Yeah, he lost there, and you know, you, you, know that, you know that Parkinson will, you know, it, you know you've seen the, the shaved bits that, you know, are, are on this pitch, and, you know, Parkinson had a good year last year, and, you know, he, he's a key cog for their, their bowling attack, so... Um, yeah, it wasn't to be at the the end of the day, and it didn't quite finish how we would have liked. But you know, I think you know to be you know forty for well thirty nine for one, uh, having bowled them out for just over two hundred, I think we'd we'd take that. Decent lead, we worth having on the pitch then, in the circumstances as the game goes on. Yeah, and and that's the that's the other part for this for the for this side is understanding how to win four day uh, four day games of cricket, and you know the first innings lead will be uh, something that we'd be looking for, but. You know, we you hear it all the time. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves. You know, the first hour on this pitch is is going to be hard work, and we've got to understand that we've got to be at our best there to to earn the right to to look to get a lead.